Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to solve this packet tracer activity, configure a NAT for IPv4. Before coming to this activity, friends, if you like to get any CCNA technical support or any CCNA version 7 online classes, you can contact our team using our website. Link you will get from the description below. And also, if you like to get this type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. And don't forget to enable that bell icon so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Back to this activity, here we can see a present table. And coming to the objectives, configure dynamic NAT with PAT, then configure static NAT. We will go through the scenario. In this lab, we will configure a router with a dynamic NAT with the PAT. This will translate addresses from the three internal LANs to a single outside address. In addition, we will configure static NAT to translate an internal server address to an outside address. Okay, that's perfect. We will go through the instructions. In this activity, we will uh, only configure router R2. So coming to our topology here, we can see our router R2. Use a named ACL to permit the addresses from LAN1, LAN2 and LAN3 to be translated. Specify the LANs in this order. Uh, use the name R2 NAT. The name you use must match this name exactly. Actually, this is for a scoring purpose. Here we can see those LANs, LAN1. 192.168.10.0 slash 24. Here is a LAN 2, 192.168.20.0 slash 24. And here we have a LAN 3, 192.168.30.0. So here we are going to create this named ACL in this router R2. CLI. Enable. Conf T. Here we will create that access list, IP access list, standard and the specified we have to give this name R2 NAT. Then we are going to permit 192.168. It's a 10.0. Then we have to give its wildcard mask 0.0.0.255. Okay. Then we will permit 192.168.20.0.0.0.255 and the last LAN permit 192.168.30.0 then 0 0.0.0.255 Then create a NAT pool named R2 pool. The pool should use the first address from the 209.165.202.128 slash 30 address space. The pool name you use must match this name exactly. All translated addresses must use this address as their outside address. Here I will copy this uh, subnet address. And uh, here clearly mentioned uh, we should use the first address from this subnet. Perfect. So we'll go to R2 and we will exit from this uh, access list. And here we will create that IP NAT pool. Uh, pool name is R2 pool space. I'll put a question mark. So start IP address. We already copied this subnet address. So I will give 129 space. Again, I will put a question mark and we can see we must specify end IP address also. But they specified we have to use the first usable IP address only. So here I will use the same address that is 129 space. Again, we will put a question mark. We have to give a net mask. Okay. Then we have to specify the sum to mask. They are given slash 30. That means 255.255.255 Next is configure NAT with the ACL and uh, 
that pool that you have created okay we'll go to r2 so here we will give that command ip nat inside the source list we have to specify the list we created uh, that is r2 nat then we will specify the pool that is r2 pool overload let me put a question mark yeah overload then presenter next is configure static net to map the local dot pka server inside address to the second address from the 209 dot 165 dot 202 dot 128 slash 30 address space that means we have to use uh, uh, 130 202 dot 130 just I will uh, copy this address coming to this router R2 IP NAT inside source static then we have to specify that uh, server IP address local dot pka I will copy this coming back to R2 then uh, I will put a question mark inside global IP address so here the specified we have to use the second address from this subnet so just I will copy this paste here and edit this last octet to 130 coming to the last instruction configure the interfaces that will participate in NAT so coming to our topology here we can see uh, this interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 which is connecting to internet uh, will be IP NAT outside and other three interfaces will be IP NAT inside so we'll see those interfaces it's a serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and uh, here we have uh, I think it's a FS 0 slash 0 coming to this router R2 first of all we will go to interface serial 0 slash uh, 1 slash 0 its IP NAT outside now we'll go to interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 its IP NAT inside the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 IP NAT inside then we will go to interface FA 0 slash 0 this is also IP NAT inside give end just to copy the configuration from RAM to NVRAM copy run space start enter two times now we will try to access this uh, web page cisco.pka uh, from these uh, LANs LAN 1, LAN 2 and LAN 3 so just I will go to PC1 desktop you will choose this uh, browser and here we will give a cisco.pka and here we can see we able to access the web page just I will copy that then coming to LAN2 web browser paste that URL it's working then coming to PC2 desktop web browser paste that URL copied perfect now we can verify the translations here show IP NAT translations and here we can see the table here we can see inside the local address this is the private IP address which will not be routed in the internet and here we can see inside the global address great so uh, that's all uh, in this uh, configuration that is uh, configure NAT for IPv4 so here we can see our completion status it shows 100% now dear friends if you have any doubt any suggestions regarding this packet tracer activity please comment below or even you can contact our team using our website link you will get from the description below 
and really if you like our video give a thumb and share with all your friends stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video thank you